Well, good afternoon and thank you all for being here. And first I want to thank uh, the folks who are behind me uh, and all the folks that we've been meeting with today here uh, on the Louisiana Tech campus and, and around Ruston. Uh, Dr. Les Geis, obviously the president of Louisiana Tech, and he's been assisted by Sam Wallace, who is the associate vice president for administration and facilities here uh, at the university. Also, Mayor Ronnie Walker has been with us today, and, and uh, as well as uh, Jay Ellington, uh, administrative services director for the city of Ruston, uh, Courtney Hall, the parish administrator uh, here, and, and Kip Franklin, who is the director of the Office of Emergency Preparedness here. Obviously, a lot of damage. Uh, done. Uh, still some cleanup to do, but it's a much different scene uh, than the last time I was here on August 25th, just a few hours after uh, the tornado uh, came through this area, causing significant damage uh, and also causing the loss of two lives uh, very tragically. I felt then and I felt feel today that the Louisiana Tech community, the uh, city of Ruston, very uh, fortunate uh, to get out of that ordeal with just the loss of two lives, although that was very tragic. Uh, based on the damage assessment that we've been able to do, the tornadoes and bad weather that day destroyed 89 homes. I mean, that's, that's completely destroyed. Uh, several hundred more homes were destroyed uh, and, uh, and had damage that was classified either as major, minor, or that the homes were affected. Commercial offices in the parishes are around uh, $5.6 million to 86 different properties. Uh, 76 of those properties was right here uh, in the Ruston area. On the public facilities and infrastructure side, uh, once damage assessments were completed, uh, based on FEMA's conservative estimate, and this is somewhat preliminary, uh, we will meet uh, the threshold for public assistance funding in Lincoln, Morehouse, uh, and in Union Parish. We believe now that we will uh, meet that threshold. In the city of Ruston, conservative estimates puts the damage at $5.9 million, uh, mostly uh, to the city's utility services. Uh, here at Louisiana Tech, they have at least $5.2 million in damage and understand that that damage figure is net of insurance. Uh, and so the damage is obviously much higher than that, uh, well over $20 million. And again, that's preliminary uh, and very, very conservative. Uh, overall, that day, the very conservative investment on the public side is more than $11 million in damages across the three parishes. And as a result, uh, later today, we will be requesting that federal assistance uh, be given uh, to uh, these three parishes, to Louisiana Tech, the city of Ruston, and so forth. Um, and that will enable us, uh, should the federal government, should the president uh, honor that request, to uh, assistance from the federal government that they would pay 75 uh, cents on the dollar towards repairing the damage and then we will be responsible for the other 25 cents. The request will also include uh, a request for individual assistance. Uh, it could uh, entail uh, rental assistance, limited repair costs uh, that are necessary to make a residence habitable, meaning safe, uh, secure, and sanitary. Uh, it would make available Small Business uh, Administration disaster loan. Uh, one of the incredibly remarkable things that happened here in Ruston at Louisiana Tech uh, is we saw almost spontaneously a tremendous volunteer effort uh, that, that went into effect right away uh, to help all the people who were affected. Uh, I will never forget seeing all the students here at Tech who came out and, and engaged in cleanup here at Tech, but also in the residential communities across the city of Ruston. I'm very proud of the work that they did and the fact that they were able to resume classes uh, on the following Monday uh, was extraordinary. Uh, and I also want to thank uh, Dr. Geis uh, and all the other people here at Louisiana Tech because they worked so hard to take care of the needs of the students uh, with respect to, to food uh, and housing uh, and so forth. And look, there, there's still a lot of recovery to um, take place here um, in, in Ruston and in, uh, on campus. Uh, but we're very, very uh, happy with the work that's been done here, the, the teamwork. Uh, I'll tell you, you have some dedicated, competent uh, public officials here. So I want to thank everyone who stepped up, uh, state and local, uh, and federal, by the way. Uh, and to help in the time of tragedy with the city of Ruston and Louisiana Tech and all of the affected communities.